As we all know, Kyrie Irving rolled his ankle against the Bucks in Game 4 after laying Drew Holiday and landing on Giannis's foot. When Big Baby Davis seen this, he said that's the same ankle he stopped lucky with. Then when everyone was coming at him for that comment, he said y'all so mad. I ain't gonna lie, he's fucked up for saying that. Just because he stomped on Lucky doesn't mean he deserved to get hurt. I don't know why him and KG cared so much about that anyways. It's not that serious. Every player stomps on Lucky when they play in that arena. And KG shouldn't be talking. He did things way worse than stomping on a logo on the court. He done told Carmelo that his wife Lala tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. He told him Duncan Happy Mother's Day during the game knowing his mother passed away. And he even did this. Well, Kevin Garnett has never been shy on the court, but according to Charlie Villanueva, he crossed the line last night following the Celtics' 23-point win over the Pistons. Villanueva posted on his Twitter account that Garnett called him a cancer patient during the game. So KG is the last person to talk about Kyrie doing that. And although Big Baby Davis hasn't really violated anyone in the past like that, he still should have never said that. Like I said before, it's not that serious. I wish there was no such things as injuries, though. It's been way too many this postseason. Harden just hurt his hamstring in game one. Hearing to injure his right hamstring. Now keep in mind, Harden lost 21 games this season due to a right hamstring injury. AD injured his groin. Most Davis, I'm not sure he's gonna be able to continue. It's the left groin and down he goes. Chris Paul got injured too, but fortunately it wasn't that serious. They're fighting Following for the position. View, we have a loose ball foul on the play. We are in the penalty, which is two free throws. Donovan Mitchell injured his ankle. Elevating inside, tipped up and in, but they're gonna wave it off. Yeah, it's just in the cylinder. And Joel Embiid injured his knee. Comes up short though. He's one for four from three point range, and Joel Embiid grabs that left knee. Oh. He's tough as fuck for still playing on a partially torn meniscus though. I respect that OD. It's not really looking too good for the Nets though. I don't think they can win this series without Kyrie and Harden. They still got KD who's arguably the best player in the league, but that's definitely not going to be enough to win, especially with the way he's been playing lately. In his last two games against them, he's averaging 29 points, but he's only shooting 37% from the field and 25% from three. He's going to have to be way more efficient than that if he wants to give the Nets a chance to still win this series without Kyrie and Harden. I love the way Giannis and Chris Middleton have been playing the last two games though. In those games, Chris Middleton is averaging 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 4.5 and assists, shooting 47% from the field, 42% from 3, and 83% from the line. Giannis averaged 33.5 points, 13 rebounds, and 2 assists, shooting 49% from the field. He would have had a way better field goal percentage if he was shooting better from 3 though. In those two games, he only shot 15% from 3, and he needs to be way better from the line. This series, he's only shooting 37%. That's fucking horrible. Giannis be blowing mind when he does that. He's way better than that. He should never have a four game stretch when he's shooting 37% from the line. He already takes mad long to shoot, so I don't understand why he's shooting such a low percentage. Maybe that's his problem though. He's taking too much time thinking about it. If he shoots the ball quicker and didn't think about it too much, he would probably be shooting way better from the line. But regardless whether he hits his free throws or not, I think the Bucks is gonna win this series if him and Middleton keep playing the way they've been playing. What do y'all think though? Do the Nets still have a chance of winning this series without Kyrie and Harden? Or is it over for them? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.